So Rocket League was released on the Epic Games Store for free and a lot of new players jumped into it. So here I am showing you guys how to run it smoothly on your Potato PC. Hey everyone it's Rek here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boost FPS, fix lag and stutters in Rocket League 2020. By using this FPS boost guide you're going to see great results regardless of whether you are using a really high end PC or a really low end PC. Before this video begins I quickly wanna mention that I am accepting commissions over on Twitter and helping you guys boost FPS, lower ping and reduce the input delay for only 5 bucks. For more information DM me on Twitter, link will be in the description. So with all of that out of the way, let's get this video started. We are going to start by creating a restore point just in case that you guys want to revert the tweaks shown inside of this video you will have the option to do that really easily. So to do that go down to your start menu and search for create a restore point. Open it up and select the windows drive. Then hit configure and make sure that system protection is set to on and set it to around 5%. Then hit ok and click on create. You can name it anything you want and then hit ok again. What system restore point does is that it creates an image of your system at the point when it's created so you can revert everything done after it by clicking on the system restore button inside of this tab. So once the restore point is created just go ahead and close this window and now you can safely continue on with the FPS boost guide. To continue you guys will need the Rocket League FPS boost pack by Reknetic so go ahead and download it. After downloading you will need to extract it with 7zip or winrar and once you guys have extracted the pack simply go ahead and open it up. Then go into the config folder and here you will find 3 more folders. If you are using a medium end PC go with the medium end or if you guys are using a really low end PC then go with ultra low end config file. I personally use the recommended config so once you open up any of the folders you will see a text document. Just copy this text file and open up your documents. Inside of here go into my games, rocket league, ta game, config and then paste it. If it asks to replace then go ahead and replace the file and now you can close out of here. Once you guys have done that, launch Rocket League and go into the game settings. Then go into the video tab and for the resolution set it to your native res which will be 1920 by 1080 for most of you guys watching this video. Then set the display mode to full screen and vertical sync or vsync to off. Hit apply and under the basic settings set anti-aliasing to off, render quality to performance for low end PCs and render detail to performance as well. Then for the advanced settings we have already changed all of those settings by copying the config file into the game. So those are all of the in-game settings that you want to change for the best frames in Rocket League. Awesome. Moving on from there go ahead and open up the FPS pack again and then go to the Nvidia inspector. And open up the Nvidia profile inspector. Once it opens up it will be something like this and the only thing that we are going to be changing is the frame rate limiter mod. So click on the drop down menu and select the 0x00004 PS frame rate limiter to control delay flip by flip. And then apply the changes and we can close out of this as well. Going back into the FPS pack, go into the park control folder and install CPU core parking software using the application according to your operating system. For most of the people it will be 64 bit so go ahead and open it up. Then click yes and hit ok. I agree, next and install. It will open up but before using it we are going to create an ultimate power plan. So to do that go down to your start menu and type in cmd, run it as admin and hit yes. Then paste this command in the cmd, I will leave it in the description down below and press enter. It will say something like the ultimate power plan like so and now we can close the cmd. After that go into the start menu again and search power. Then click on edit power plan option and go into the power options. Hit the down arrow for additional power plans and select the ultimate performance power plan. Then click on change plan settings and set the turn off display to never. And with that you can close out of this window. Now open up the CPU core parking again and set the power plan to ultimate performance and click mark active. Then slide all of these bars to 100% and make sure that bitsum dynamic boost is enabled as well. So after doing that hit apply and then hit ok and now you can close out of it. Go into the fps pack one more time and copy the islc folder onto your desktop. Go ahead and open it up and run the islc application. Open it from the system tray and click on stop if it's already running. 
then set the list size is at least to 1024 and the free memory is lower than to half of your total memory size. Check the enable custom timer resolution and set its value to 0 0.50. Then set the polling rate to 10,000 and then hit start and then hit purge standby list. Then just minimize the app while playing Rocket League and repeat this step every time before playing. You guys will experience much lower input delay as well as higher FPS in Rocket League by using this application. Then go into the FPS pack one last time and open up MSI Mod Utility V2 as admin. Then go into the row where your graphics card is and if under supported mods it shows MSI, only then check the MSI box and set the interrupt priority to high. After that click on apply changes and then close out of it. Then open up the launch options and copy this command. After that open up the epic games launcher and go down into your settings. Scroll all the way down to rocket league and click on it. Then check the additional command line arguments and paste the command right there. Now you can go back and close out of the epic games launcher as well as the fps pack. Moving on we are going to be disabling windows animation and stuff to boost performance of our PC. So to do that go down into your start menu, search for this PC and click on properties and then click on advanced system settings. Once it opens up click on the settings again. By default let windows choose what's best for my computer will be selected, change it to adjust for best performance and hit apply. It will lower all of the windows effects and hence giving you an FPS boost. But if you are not happy with the results you can always go back to letting windows choose what's best for your PC. Then once again go down to your start menu and search for MS config. Run it as admin and then go into the boot tab. Click on advanced options and for the number of processors make sure to check the box and set its value to max and then hit ok. Then go into the services tab and check hide all Microsoft services and uncheck any of the services that you don't use and then hit apply again. Then go into the startup tab, open task manager and disable all of the programs that you don't want to start every time windows boots up except for any windows or Microsoft programs or the programs that you want to use on startup. Then hit close, hit ok and exit without restart because we will be restarting later. After that go down to start menu and click on the settings icon. Go into the windows and security and make sure to update your windows to the latest 2004 version for extra performance boost. Then go back and go to privacy, set everything in general to off and then scroll all the way down to background apps and set it to off as well. This will lower the CPU usage and help you guys get better FPS in all of the games. Then go back again and go into the gaming. Inside here I highly recommend to set the xbox game bar to off and go into the game mode and set it to on. Go back one last time and search for the graphics settings. Open it up and set it to desktop app. Then hit browse and then go into the drive where you installed rocket league. For most of the people it will be C program files epic games but if you change it then it will be somewhere else. Then go into rocket league binaries win64 and select rocketleague.exe file. Click on add and then set options. Set it to high performance and click on save and now you can close out of the settings. Moving on from there go into the rocket league folder again, go into binaries win64 and right click on the rocketleague.exe file. Go down to properties and then go into the compatibility tab. Inside of here make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked and click on change high dpi settings. Check override high dpi and set it to application. Then hit ok, apply, ok and close out of it. Next up we are going to be disabling the hardware acceleration in discord. So to do that open up discord and click on this gear icon near your profile. Then scroll down and click on the appearance. Scroll all the way down to hardware acceleration and toggle it off. It will require you to restart discord so hit ok and you are done with this step. I just quickly want to mention that if you guys need help with anything just join the discord server and we have a really great community right there helping everyone. So if you need help with anything the link will be in the description go ahead and join the discord server. 
Then moving on from there, the last step would be to update your graphics drivers to the latest drivers. A lot of people don't know this, but updating your graphics drivers can really help you boost FPS, fix stutters, and many other issues that you might be having in games. If you want to know how to get the best drivers and how to optimize them for your PC, then I will leave links to both my NVIDIA optimization guide and AMD optimization guide in the description, so make sure to check those out. So those were all of the settings and tweaks which will help you guys boost FPS and fix stutters in Rocket League in 2020. If you guys enjoyed the video and maybe learned something new, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel for more FPS boost guides, tips and tricks and more. And be sure to check out my Twitter as well. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome.